up next, it's a welterweight bout between George St. Pierre and Eric Tiger Silva. This dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom, right. but his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Well, DC, like Frank Sinatra, this man has done it his way. The former UFC welterweight and middleweight champion, George Rush St. Pierre. A lot of people believe pound for pound, DC, GSP is the best they've ever seen. Yes, because he was able to mix everything together so well. When he was fighting a wrestler, he was able to keep the fight standing. When he was fighting a striking specialist, he was able to take him to the ground. His jiu-jitsu and just his full-on MMA game was something that we had never seen in the UFC before. He won the UFC championship at middleweight after being away for four years. Just showed how special George St. Pierre truly is. In terms of MMA application of wrestling, no one has done it better than George Rush St. Pierre. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. GSP is three years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC. Walk away division. Introduce your first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Villa Belha Espelito Sato Brazil. Eric Chill! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, George Rush St. P. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure Justin lands. Ooh, 
what a punch. He missed with that jab attempt there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. They're certainly getting after it early. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. That shot blocked by Silva. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice kick. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Strong outside leg kick. Yeah, I've hurt him a little bit. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Silva gets caught with that punch. Real quick leg kick. Oh, good kicks. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! Oh, big left hook there. An uppercut later. trying to shut the liver down. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Overhand right, swing and a miss. His leg is hurt here, you can see that. That knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't need too many elbows. You cannot do it. You gotta get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, you're gonna land one, and it's gonna shut everything down. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is... Oh, oh what a nice lands, and maybe time to get the bonus check ready. I mean, this punch there by Silva. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Nice punch, land. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick.
gentlemen, crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called the stop to this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, George Rush St. Pierre.